Hi, builders and readers. Welcome to Minecraft Book Club. I have been enjoying flying. I'm still practicing. I'm getting a little bit better at it. I died yesterday. Eh. <laughs> One block from water. Can I make it? Success! Uh, with a little bit of damage. I built this whole island based on the Isle of of Forget Me from Cressida Cowell's How to Train Your Dragon series, book six, A Hero's Guide to Deadly Dragon. Today is a rare day. It is leap day. It also happens to be Hiccup's birthday. So I have a piece of cake and let's visit the library. Normally, food isn't allowed in libraries. However, the Meathead Public Library already has special rules. You could be killed just for trespassing. And in the book, Hiccup and his friends haven't just come to the library to visit. No, 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 no. They have come to steal a very special book. I think libraries are one of the coolest places you could visit, and you should definitely check out your local library. You might just be able to find all sorts of books, like the series How to Train Your Dragon which I highly recommend. My library, this library, doesn't have driller dragons or red hot itchy worms. It doesn't even have the hairy scary librarian yet. As you can see, the library is not quite done yet. It was supposed to have big mazes, driller dragons, and secret passageways. There's plenty of room for more building down here later. Right now, I want to show you a time lapse of this build that has taken me four months and hundreds of hours to complete. So, without further ado, to the future! For a short break from building to visit a friend. All of the building you've seen so far is without an elytra. That's not a flex, I just would have died way too many times. That and we didn't have a whole lot of gunpowder. But my friend is building a tower and he's making a really cool reverse moat. And at the top of this tower is going to be a creeper farm. Then we will have all the gunpowder we need that will definitely excite the demolition experts on this server. Stopped by my home base to pick up some much needed supplies for the build and lo and behold the server is experiencing unexpected weather patterns. Walking snowmen, imagine that! I wonder who could have left these gentlemen at my base. Hmm? Talked to a friend on the server and discovered that I'm not the only one who is experiencing this freak snowstorm. So I've headed to her base to see the damage and she has put hers to good use. They are now sentries. We decided that striking back was a reasonable response. However, we didn't want to get too out of hand, as he is the one building us a creeper farm, and we are very, very grateful. 
That's enough shenanigans for now. Back to work. Lapses are giving me difficulty in editing, so this is where we will end this chapter. Thank you guys for visiting the Meathead Public Library with me. Thank you, Cressida Cowell, for creating amazing characters for us to enjoy. That's all for this adventure. I will see you in the next one, where we will go 20,000 leagues under the sea. <laughs>